how to use Bitrix24 if you're just getting started. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll showcase how to get started with Bitrix24. I will talk about how you can use it and what you can do with it. So let's actually get started. So basically, Bitrix24 is, like it says here in the screen, uh, is going to be your ultimate workspace. You will be able to collaborate with your team members or colleagues within your company. Uh, you've got plenty of things that you can do like CRM, uh, where you can, you know, create deals or, you know, uh, estimate invoices and all of those things that you can see in front of you in the screen for CRM. You've got tasks and projects and a lot more that you can do within Bitrix24. Just think of it as an ultimate workspace is i think that's the best uh, description for it where you can you know chat um share ideas share stuff uh, track uh projects and stuff and like you can see here uh you can do a lot of stuff like absence management uh, announcements automations there's plenty of things that you can do with bitrix 24 and a lot of integrations as well so uh if you were just want to get started by now you just go ahead and go to bitrix24.com and you can just go ahead and click on start for free but first let me just go over the pricing real quick because you know if you're just getting started you would want to know um, how much it is going to be so basically you've got those four different plans you've got a basic standard professional and enterprise uh, and i'm not going to actually go uh, ahead and compare all of them uh because you know it's going it's, it's not what this video is about so if you want to compare them feel free to actually go ahead and you know uh get to this page bitrix 24com prices and you can go ahead and see the differences between them uh but uh most importantly what i want to showcase here is that if you're just uh, getting started there's actually going to be a free plan here it's hidden a little bit, uh, which you can absolutely start for free and is going to also remain 100% for free. Uh, and you can see that it actually includes unlimited users, which is crazy. Um, and you will get all of those things that you can see in here. So it's pretty, 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 pretty good, actually, uh, considering it's for free and you get a lot of stuff. You just need to go ahead and uh, click on register for free or start for free to get started. So let me just go ahead and do that right here. So start for free and we just wait a little bit. Let me just continue with Google to make things easier. Uh, and it's going to be a simple sign up process. I'm not going to actually waste your time with it. I'm going to uh, come back to you when this is completely done. So uh, now that the signing up process is done, you should find yourself within this uh, section here, uh, which is going to basically just ask which uh, thing is going to be used most by you and your company. You can just decide later. Um, and it's not going to really make a big difference. I think it's just, you know, to uh, know exactly what you'll be uh, more or using more often here. So basically here's going to be your dashboard. Here's going to be all uh, of the things that you'll be working on. So within the dashboard, the first thing that you will see is going to be the feed. Uh, the feed is basically, it's, it's pretty much like any other feed from you know different platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and so on. This is going to be a place where all of the uh, announcements, comments, um, things that have been done, recent stuff, all is, is going to be in here uh, within the feed by all the p people that are in here. Uh, and also on top of the feed, you can see messages, task, event, poll, and those are going to be shortcuts to things that we can create later on. So let me just cancel this. You can create a poll, create a task, uh, create an event and more stuff in here or a message. So those are going to be shortcuts and if we go to the left side here, the left panel, you can see all of the things that we have in here within the dashboard. And you can see that there's plenty of stuff to do. So we've got the feed, we've got chat and calls. Uh, for the chat and calls, here is going to be basically your chat room with you and the um, people that you have within the company. Here you should find yourself 
and also all the users that are in here you can see them if they're online or they're busy or you can also set up the status so do not disturb or such here you can also uh, make calls uh, and chats so it's completely going to be up to you and to your uh, preference and you can also do like private messages and so on you just obviously need to like have more people in here to get started uh, but here's that's basically it for chat and calls it's self-explanatory you've got the calendar which is going to be a calendar view of all the tasks and deadlines and stuff that are uh, available for you uh, you can see that all within this calendar and then you've got all on documents uh, and a lot of other stuff here if we go to tasks and projects actually before we even go to that uh, if you're just getting getting started, you would obviously would want to uh, invite users. So you go to the left panel uh, and go ahead and click on invite users. And in here, you can just go ahead and simply copy this link uh, and just go ahead and uh, send it to your group chats for your company uh, or to share it with whoever you want to allow them to actually accept the invite and join in. Uh, you can also, if you want, invite um, by email or phone number if you want to add specific users or this one, this option here if you want, and so on. So you've got plenty of options to uh, like invite people, but this is the most commonly used one, and it's much easier to you know, add as many pe people as possible easier. So in here, and you can also, again, manage the people that are going to be joining. So... If you go to, for example, tasks and projects here, it's going to give us a new different page where we, we will be able to go ahead and um, adjust tasks, projects, uh, and other stuff here as well, like the efficiency of the projects and so on. If we go to projects, for example, we can go ahead and create a new project uh, and we can go ahead and give it a name. Sorry for, for these tips and stuff because it's, you know, it's the first time. But um, you can just click on project we can click on next and we can give it a little bit more information like project name is going to be example we can add a description if you want description let me just say that and then for the visual theme we can go ahead and select any of those we can just select pluto if you want click on save and here we can give it an icon so uh, let's just do this one and then we can just go ahead and click on next uh, we can make it private, public, or hidden. Uh, that is going to be completely up to you. I prefer to keep it invitation only to only invite the people that are related to this uh, project. So we just click on next. And here we can um, right away add the members that we want to have uh, within this project. So we can just click on add employee. And all the employees should show up in here. We just click on next. Once we are done and we can just go ahead and let me just exit out of here okay so we've got our project done so here inside the project we've got feed calendar drive and more stuff and most importantly is going to be the tasks part so within uh this specific project we can create specific tasks so uh, to create tasks in here or even outside of this project it doesn't really matter it's going to be exactly the same we just click on create uh, and then from here we can assign to a specific person so let me just assign it to myself oops sorry like so we give uh, a task the name so, uh, or the, we give the task a name so let me just writing a script for example and we can make it high priority and we can go ahead and set up a deadline if we want. And we can do more stuff as well. If you we just click on more, uh, we can go ahead and see plenty of options here that we can select, uh, like tags and stuff. And there's a lot of things that we can just go ahead and choose from. Uh, we can obviously select, uh, or once we are done with the test, we can attach files to it and we can do a lot more stuff in here. So uh, once that's done, we can either click on add task or add task and create another one if you want to make things easier. And we can also save it as a template if we want. So let me just add task and that's it. 
So you can see here that we have a task already. What I like to do is keep it as Kanban view. It's much easier for me because I'm used to other applications that have this view. Uh, and you can see now, for example, this one, we can just go ahead and move it to in progress. And then we can just go ahead and move it to finished once it's done. And so on. we can also create more uh, if we want. Uh, uh, that's pretty much what we can do for the tasks and projects. And there's other stuff as well, but the, like generally speaking, that's how it goes. If you go to tasks, this is going to showcase all um, of the tasks in general. Uh, and we can see here uh, the, this task that we have just created and is also going to show you from which project it is in. Now, that's pretty much it for the task. You can also create general tasks here. It's completely up to you. I think you get the point when it comes to tasks uh, and projects. It's very cool and uh, it's very easy to use as well. So if we go to CRM, for example, here we can uh, add the deals and uh, a lot of stuff in here if we just can load in faster. So it's it's very also very simple. It's uh, you can see how like how can I say it? Everything is going to be very like o almost the same. It's not going to be completely different because it's one platform. Things are going to be much easier. Uh, you can hear you can see the Kanban view, and you can for example create a quick deal right away from here from the within the Kanban view and it's going to give you uh, the name of the deal um, just give it any name you can put in any amount sorry you can put in any amount and this is going to be a quick one but if you want to create a more detailed one we can just go ahead and click on create uh, and here in here you can obviously fill in uh, all the information that you need when it comes to the deal uh, name and all of those things and more stuff as well so you can just go ahead and save it and like we had with the tasks is going to be shown in here uh, and you can just move it around just like we did with the task exactly here you can see inventory customers sales and so on all are going to have the same idea uh, when it comes to other stuff here for example automation you can set up automations within bitrix 24 easily in here you can just go ahead and uh, create uh, create a new uh, workflow automation dependent on exactly what you want. Uh, you can just go ahead and do that. We can go to company and uh, access or select the departments and just uh, make sure that we have each specific person within their uh, respective department by just drag and dropping. And we can see now here is going to be all the employees uh, and here you can, you know, set up the departments and you can add more departments and stuff. Um, what else? So that's pretty much how it's going to work here for drive. You can obviously upload stuff. The same goes for online documents. And at the end of the day, you just go back to your feed. Uh, and you can see all the updates that happen and everything in here. So that's pretty much how it works. Bitrix 24. Uh, in a nutshell, and you can see here already on the right side, we can see the uh, summary of all we have uh, assigned to us. For example, tasks ongoing is one. We just click on it and it's going to give us a list of the tasks that we need to work on. We can just click on it, see what it's all about. And we can just go ahead and uh, like, you know, if, we, if we're done with it, we can, you know, attach a file to it. Uh, and call it a day. So that's pretty much how Bitrix24 works. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.